Welcome back to Zero Assist. Adam here, stick around for the latest transfers and transfer rumours. Before all that, if you do like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Each month, I'll be doing a monthly giveaway. For the month of March, I'm giving away Rio Hatate. To enter, you need to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. At the end of the month, I'll pick a random video posted in March and random select a comment, and that person will win that month's card. So the more videos you comment on, the more entries you will have. I'll announce the winner right here at the end of the month, so stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, and for more free Sora content, please check out SoraAssist.com. Consider becoming a patron of Sora Assist for weekly play scouting and grab yourself a 100 page Ultimate Guard Sora ebook. You can also now become a member of this YouTube channel. More details by clicking that join button below. And if you're not signed up to Sora yet, sign up using the link below to get 13 common cards and a free limited card. Okay, without the way, let's get stuck into today's content. So today I'll be highlighting some Sora player transfer news and rumours. All these reports are from reliable sources. As always though, do your own research and none of, this fe none of the information featured in this video is financial advice. So let's see the latest transfer news. So the first one is that Utrecht will strengthen itself for next season with Luke Browers. So it looks like Browers is set to sign with Utrecht until mid-2027. Henenveen was also interested in Browers, who however chose Domstead Dellingen. There seems to be space in the midfield in Utrecht as well because Jovis van Overeem, Simon Gustafsson and Adam Meyer seem to be leaving. So it's coming to limited prices around 41 and is rare around 336. Looking at some scores as well, he's got some decent scores as well as his old club. So could potentially be a decent pickup. Next story is that Fontas has completed medical checks at an MLS team. And that is DC United. So the former rapid player Fontas is likely to be imminent. A published video shows the Greek player already completed a medical check with MLS team DC United. The offensive player is willing to change. Could sign up with the club from the US capital by the summer at the latest and is already in North America and taking part in the obligatory fitness checks. His agent, Max Hagmar, released a video showing the striker already in DC training gear. So he's going for around 415 although the floor price seems to have gone up since the news of this potential move. Limited is going for around 46. He's only 26 as well. Looking at some of his scores, he's got some decent scores as well for his old club, Rapid Wien. Another story from the MLS is that LAFC transferred a of transfer defender Kim Mu Hwan to the K League's Joan Buck Hyundai. This was announced last Friday, and the move, the move comes roughly 14 months after, after the right back joined from K League side Busan I Park. The 26 year old had one goal and two assists across 28 regular season games with the black and gold team. So he's going for around 15 on the limited and 178 for the rare. Whether he's going to be the first starter or not, I'm not sure about that. But if we look at the scores, he's got some fairly decent scores really when he was in the MLS. Nothing too amazing, but some good averages there. So Jocelyn has apparently made an agreement with Espanyol. And there's also interest from Valencia and Celta for taking one of the best Spanish strikers. As the Catalonia radio announced yesterday, it, Jocelyn will arrive and sign for three seasons. This was reported by Matteo Moreto, who's got 83,000 followers on Twitter. So, as you can see here, his average is around 362. Floor price seems to have gone up. That's potentially because of this news of the move to Espanyol from Deportivo Alaves. And his limited card is going for around 24. Scores-wise, he has got some really good, decent scores, to be honest. And he has scored plenty of goals. I think he actually grabbed six, 12 goals this season in the Spanish La Liga. Next story we've got for you is that Shakhtar the next fullback is offered to Internacional, who obviously plays in Brazil. So it's potential loan move this one for Ismaili, who currently has a contract with Shakhtar the until 2023. So Internacional are looking for some reinforcements within their squad. Tokidores.com found out that one of the names on the agenda is left back Ismaili from Shakhtar Donetsk from Ukraine. 32 year old athlete was offered to the Rio Grande. Dussel Club and the Colorado board is evaluating his purchase. 
As we know, the Ukrainian championship was suspended indefinitely by FIFA after the Russian invasion of the country. Since then, many players are trying to dissociate themselves from Shakhtar Donetsk through the governing body of football. So it looks like International will initially try to sign Ishmael on loan until the end of the current season. So it's also the athlete's desire to return to Brazilian football as well. So Ishmael at the moment is going for around £8 on the limited and around 94 on his rare card. As you can see, he has got a few appearances here for Shakhtar Donetsk. A couple of good scores here as well in the 60s, but there's quite a few games that he didn't play. Whether it's expected to be a starter for International is another story. So, another story we've got here is that Chelsea's Rudiger has apparently said yes to Juventus. According to Cosetta della Sport, German central defender Antonio Rudiger, under contract with Chelsea until June 2022, has said yes to, to Juventus with a view to signing for free in the summer. So, for several months, the German central defender has been associated with many clubs, from PSG to Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Manchester United and Juventus and even Newcastle more recently. But it looks like potentially his preferred move is with Juventus. So Rudiger's card I think is only available in the German national kit. And at the moment his rare is going for a very hefty 1384 and his rare for also a very hefty price. He has got some decent scores though as you can see from his averages here. And his score graph as well shows some fantastic scores for the central defender. Another new story is the, of, of the young S Polish international, Szymanski. So the Dynamo player, Szymanski, is close to moving to Real Sociedad. This is reported by the Spanish edition of Mundo Deportivo. According to the source, the San Bastian club intends to sign this midfielder before the end of the season. As we know, FIFA allowed foreign players to suspend, con suspend contracts with Russian Premier League clubs until 30th of June. The Polish players' agent said that this client would leave Dynamo either after the international break or at the end of the season. So, Szymanski is a fantastic player, as we can see from his average scores here. His limited is going for around 164 at the moment and is rare for around £1,000. Got some really good scores though, this player. Really good card to have in your collection. One that I'm hoping to get a rare card of, but it's a little bit expensive <laughs> for my liking at the moment. But I have got a limited card and a common card of Szymanski. But yeah, and if he's going to move to um, Real Sociedad or not, that's we'll see what happens there. So another story here from a re reliable source, Hadrian Grenier on Twitter. So everything indicates that Moussa Dembele will join PSG next summer at the end of his contract with FC Barcelona. Now he has been getting regular football with um, Barcelona recently and he's on fantastic form as well. So whether he's going to move to the French capital or not is another story, but we'll see what happens there. So his current limited is going for around 287 and his um, rare is going for a very hefty price of around £2,000. He's only 24 though and he is classified as a forward of course on so rare. Scores wise, he's got some really good scores, especially more recently. Now he's getting some more regular game time. So, a very good option in terms of Surrey scoring matrix. Another story that's reported by another reliable Twitter source is that PSG have recently acquired about Sergio Mihalovic Savic, who could leave Lazio next summer. PSG have reportedly sent some delegates to Rome in recent months to meet Kesman, who was his agent. Price set at 80 million. Inter Milan, Juventus, and Manchester United are also potentially interested in the services of Savage. Price wise, his limited is going for around 135, and his rare is going for around 1,300 pound. Scores, he's got some fantastic scores as you can see for here from the price graph, and is a very reliable SO5 player. Olympic Marseille apparently interested in junior Adamu of Salzburg. Young striker Adamu, 20 years old, has been a revelation this season for the Austrian outfit. He scored 7 goals and 3 assists in all competitions. The young Nigerian also scored against Bayern Munich in the round of the 16, in round of 16 first leg of the Champions League in a 1-1 draw. Marseille not the only ones interested though, there's also interest from Monaco, Southampton, Leicester and several Bundesliga clubs. However, it was going to cost the these teams around 15 to 20 million euros to convince the club to let him go in the summer. He has one year left of his contract, which expires in June 2023. In terms of his price, he's going for around £100 is limited and £689 in his rare. 
And if we look at his scores, he's got some fairly decent scores, really, for a 20-year-old. So it could be a decent option there. And apparently, Musa Ozil wants to leave Venabachi in the summer. So he has been out injured a long time. But he is the captain at the moment as the for Fenerbahce is the first choice captain. But there's questions arose about how long he's going to be at the club. He's apparently thinking about leaving Juventus in the summer. And a potential destination of the 33 year old could be in the MLS. Which club we don't know yet. But he has been potentially linked with a move to the MLS which potentially could be a good move for the 33-year-old as now he comes towards the end of his career. So in terms of his price on Sir Ray, he can get his limited card for around 19 and his rare for around 178. So this could be one to look out for because in the MLS, if he stays fit, he could potentially do really well in that league. Another story is about Remy Cabela, who has, of, of course, left Krasnodar now. So he did try and get a move to Saint Etienne, but unfortunately that move didn't happen for Cabela, with Saint Etienne saying that not didn't need any players in that position currently. And according to Greek press, the possibility of joining Olympiakos seems to be growing more fruition. And his friend also plays there, Jan McVilla, who is rubbed shoulders with during his time in Ferez. A destination that would allow him to play in the Champions League as well, of course. So is Remy Cabela on his way to Olympiakos? I certainly hope not, because I've got one of his cards. Um, so, obviously, that league is not covered by so rare. But I will obviously be able to use him in the Champions League next season. In terms of his price on so rare, then, his limited is going for around £80, and his rare is going for around 350 He has got some fantastic scores for Cabela as well in the Russian League, as you can see from his score graph here. Apparently, French League One clubs are interested in signing Morgan Sanson. He's currently at Aston Villa, and Sanson doesn't rule out departure from the English club. Unfortunately, not everything has turned out as planned at his time as Aston Villa. During his first season, he only played nine games, three starts, before suffering a serious knee injury, and he's been absent for 158 days. Sanson missed the end of the 2020-21 season as well. After more than five months of recovering physically, the French returned to the field on the 22nd of September against Chelsea and played 41 minutes. But then he quickly returned to the injury table after he had issues with his hamstring and he made his comeback again on the 1st of December against Man City. So according to information from footmericato.net, Morgan Sampson does not rule out leaving Aston Villa in the summer and has only played 19 matches since his arrival in January 21. Sources close to the English club even assure us that the midfielder under contract until 2025 wants to leave. And FC Nantes have one of the one of the French clubs who's potentially interested. So could it be on his way out of the English Premiership? Potentially, but we'll see. So in terms of his price on so rare, he's only actually available in the rare card at the moment, and it looks like he's going for around 137. As you can see, he's had some injury issues here, but when he was playing, these are from his time in the French League, he was getting some half decent scores to be fair. So it could be a potential option if he does get that move or does start getting more regular football after he's recovered from his injury issues. So apparently Venabachi are going to be signing Pedrina of Shakhtar Donetsk after he decided to leave Shakhtar due to the war in Ukraine. So it looks like they're going to try and sign Pedrina at the end of the season. Pedrina has performed four goals and three assists is worth 17 million euros according to the transfer market. It's also stated that many clubs are following the Pedrino situation and are preparing offers. So, could Pedrino be on the move? You can pick up his limited card for around £30 and his rare for around £300. In terms of his scores, he's got some good scores in this period here. Some quiet spells around here, but it looks like most of these were from some appearances. Another Shakhtar Donetsk player that's been linked away is Tete of Shakhtar Donetsk. And Leicester City are apparently keen on the midfielder and are in Vans talks to sign the winger. So Leicester City have previously been linked with the Brazilian. It was claimed earlier this month that the club are exploring the possibility of signing the winger. It is said that given the situation in Ukraine, the player could be available on a free transfer. Brentford have also been credited with interest for the 22-year-old. 
Also, a fellow Premiership side, Southampton, are one of the number of sides who have held advanced talks with the winger. Italian sides, AC Milan and Atlanta, and Portuguese side, Benfica, have also have sent to make an offer for the player. So, it does look like Tete is potentially in high demand and has scored nine goals and provided one assist in 17 league appearances this season. His last nine league games has saw him score seven goals. So the 22-year-old isn't cheap and he is eligible, eligible for the under-23 team until 2024. Although £70 for an under-23-year-old doesn't look too bad and it looks like his scores-wise, nothing to shout home about really, but most of these games we have to remember are from the Champions League matches only because obviously the, the Ukraine matches are not eligible. So most of these matches are potentially against hard opponents like we can see here. One against Real Madrid. But is he someone that you could be on your radar? Well, he's certainly on a number of clubs' radar. So another Shakhtar the next player in the news um, is Mykon. So Corinthians apparently agree salary with Mykon and a weight agreement with Shakhtar the next. So the negotiation between Corinthians and Shakhtar Donetsk for the midfielder Mykon could be close to an end with a happy ending for the white and white from Sao Paulo. According to information given by João Paulo Capelenes on the programme eSport TM Debate from Radio Bandirantes, the player would already be in agreement with Timau, only missing the final agreement between the clubs. So Mykon could potentially be on the move to the Brazilian league. At the moment, is available for around £30 on the limited and around £200 on the rare. Scores-wise, again, these scores are mostly in the Champions League against tougher opposition. Do a little bit of research on this one. Might be one worth to pick up, potentially. So, that was all the rumours and transfers for the last few days. I'm going to be doing these transfer reports now, potentially twice a week, because of the number of transfer rumours that we're going to start getting over the next few months or so. So if you do like this video and this content, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, each month I'll be doing a monthly giveaway. For the month of March, I'm giving away Rio Tate. To enter, you need to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. At the end of the month, I'll pick a random video posted in March and random select a comment, and that person will win that month's rare card. I'll announce the winner right here on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned and ping that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and for more free Surrey content, please check out Surreyasis.com. If you've not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. You can also become a member of this YouTube channel now, more details click on that join button and also consider becoming a patron of Surrey Assist for weekly player scouting and help support the channel. All links to all this good stuff are in the description, including a link to a free ebook, 100 page ebook of the ultimate guide to Sir Rare. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.